Hello everyone, my name is Arden, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be taking a look at set 76181, the Batmobile, the Penguin Chase. So this set has 392 pieces, two minifigures being the Penguin and the Batman. And uh, the Batman does come with uh, the cowl and the face print. And this is uh, this set is intended for ages eight and up, and uh, released uh, November first in North America. But for a wide release across the world, it will be uh, releasing January first. So here is the box. Of course, it has the set information, the set number, the pieces. It has the two minifigures there, and then it's just like a red and black uh, box, which we've really seen for the logos and the posters and in the trailers for this film. I really like the box design. I think it's a lot different than what we see with most uh, Batman sets. Uh, I don't think we've really had red in a Batman set before. Uh, so it's a uh, really cool box art. I quite like it. You have the Batman logo right there with the battering in the uh, title there, which looks quite cool. There's also another bat symbol down there. Then you have the uh, Batman, of course, holding a battering there. And you can see the uh, Batmobile there with uh, the Penguin minifigure running away from it. You have DC logo up there. Then the two minifigures down here, which I like how they uh, have them in their own... Uh, little uh, circles right there. I think it uh, separates them from the box and they look quite cool uh, with those logos. On the top of the box, there's just another bat symbol and there is the uh, Batman minifigure of this set. And then on the back, you have the back of the Batmobile with uh, the Batman, the back of the Batman minifigure as well. And then the Lego version of the Batman that we saw on the front of the box, and there is also showing the function of the spring-loaded shooters right there, just pressing down, which I'll show in a second when I take a look at the actual Batmobile. So yeah, that's the box. I quite like it. I think it's a really nice design, but now I'll take a look at the actual Batmobile. So here is the Batmobile, and I think when you first look at it, it does kind of just look like a basic car. Uh, which I don't personally have a problem with. I don't think it's necessarily the most interesting Batmobile that we've ever seen because, uh, of course, it doesn't really have anything telling you that it's a Batmobile. And I think from the trailer, especially the last one where you had the last shot of the Batmobile and Batman flying through those flames chasing after the Penguin, which I'm guessing is what this set is based on, this seems like a pretty good representation of the actual car in the movie uh and i like this batmobile i think my favorite batmobile i've ever seen is probably the 1989 batmobile and then i'm i like the tumbler as well but i might actually like this even more than the tumbler i haven't got that set yet i just waiting for it to come back in stock on uh, at my uh, lego store um but uh the uh set is uh, quite nice i uh it's about the uh, same size, or at least uh, it uh, uses the same main uh, piece as the newer Speed Champion sets, the uh, two, eight wide Speed Champion sets, which allow you to fit two minifigures inside. So um, that's uh, it, just to give you a bit of size if you have any of those. It's kind of around that. Of course, it is quite a bit longer as well. Um, the front of the set has a few stickers there, one right there, and one right there. You also can see a, uh, some uh, translucent orange studs right there, and where the uh, flick or uh, the uh, spring-loaded shooters are, and these lights, which I uh, like the uh, having them. Uh, I just think uh, the lights look quite nice uh, at different uh placements there, I think, instead of just having them next to each other, uh, they look quite nice there, the translucent one-by-one one, uh, clear tile piece there. This piece just uh, overlaps, which I think looks quite nice. Uh, these uh, pieces right here, uh, giving some more angle to the set, looks quite nice. 
And there's some black ingot pieces right here, which I think adds some nice detail and texture to the set. Another sticker right there. These gray uh, bits right here, which look quite nice. Um, I like how they uh, just go into this and line up with uh, these uh, curved pieces here. These are the uh, things, the mechanism to allow you to flick these uh, or fire these uh, spring-loaded shooters, which is a pretty good mechanism. You can press them down all at once to shoot both of them, or you can shoot them all uh, one at a time, which I'll just show you right now. So here is it one at a time. You just click one there and one there. And then you can also fire them all at once just by clicking down on both of the pieces. So I think the front of it is built quite nice. I like how this mechanism is hid in there. Uh, and it doesn't use uh, too many pieces, at least you, that you can see that really uh, take away from the whole black and gray design of this uh, set. There are a few yellow and orange pieces used in there, but luckily you can't see those. Moving to the side, you have a few uh, stickers there, at least one sticker right there. Uh, which is uh, in kind of like the similar design that you see to the roof piece here. Uh, and it also is not just the completely uh, 1x6 long sticker, there's uh, actually a bit of angle there, so it lines up with this uh, triangular piece right here, which I really like this piece. I think it makes some nice, uh, adds some nice texture and depth to the vehicles or sets. Uh, there's some more textured pieces down there. And going down to the bottom, you can see these uh, longer uh, tan-colored uh, plates, which I don't necessarily like. I wish they would have used gray or black here, uh, just because I think that would really uh, add to uh, the color you've already built. At least you really can't see it going here, but picking it up, you can for sure quite easily see it. Moving uh, more to the back, you have some more texture there. Uh, the mix of tiles and studs, I think, is quite nice. And um, it's uh, just a, I think the shaping is also really nice using different plates there to get that texture. Moving to probably my favorite part of this set, just the back bit here. Uh, the lights are stickers, uh, which I think look quite nice. I like the red, I think they, uh, they pop quite well, you can see that red very easily. Uh, the detailing back here is probably the fa my favorite part of this set and is really what caught my eye when I first saw these pictures. Uh, you have a blue flame coming out of there, which you get a whole pack of these pieces, which of course have come diff with different minifigures like Iron Man before. And uh, it just comes with a pack of them, so there are a few extras if you want to add them at different spots, maybe like right here, because there are abilities to add them there. Um, yeah, I think this uh, detailing is quite nice. You have a printed piece in here, and you also have a printed piece right here, which is quite nice to add some more detailing to the set. Uh, moving to the side, it's the same as the uh, other side. Um, the detailing, the angles are all the same, and I think they all come together to be quite nice. This windshield piece is the same one used for quite a few Speed Champion sets, and it can just take, uh, just come off like that, and it just connects to these studs right here. When you take that off, you're left with these uh, darker, uh, clear pieces, which I think make some nice uh, side uh, window bits, uh, and they uh, align exactly with this windshield piece, which I really like that build there. Uh, one thing that I quite like about these newer Speed Champions size uh, sets is that you are able to add quite a bit more detailing, which I think you can obviously see with the front, the side, and the back of this car. But also, you can get quite a bit of interior detail, and I think this one did it quite nice. You have a few stickers there for the console, and this steering wheel piece is not just one steering wheel piece, it's actually using a couple pieces, which I think is built quite nice. Uh, the seats are pretty plain, um, that's one thing that I have really liked about certain Speed Champion sets, is they were really able to add some nice detailing into the seats, and really I'd rather them put detailing into the exterior of this car, but uh, that's just one thing I think I would have changed, a bit more detailing to the seats here, 
but by using these pieces, I guess you are kind of able. It is a bit of storage space for, say, a battering or two, because I believe you do get two in this set. But you are able to, of course, fit two minifigures in this set, but I'm not going to put Batman and the Penguin in this set. I'm just going to put the Batman in it. So, you, it's a uh, pretty easy, uh, you just have uh, four studs at the bottom, so it is pretty easy to um, attach the minifigure in there. Of course, the cape does kind of stick up, and if you were to have it down there, you wouldn't really be able to have your minifigure out there with just sitting on the pieces. So for this, you can have the minifigure sitting pretty nice, uh, not too far back, and I think you can see them quite nice in there. But of course, you can, I was trying this last night after I built this set, is you can uh, fit the uh, Batman minifigure with the cowl on. It's just that you do have to push the minifigure uh, quite uh, far back uh, to get it to fit, which looks uh, a little... Uh, it doesn't look the best because he's basically staring up at the uh, top of the roof. Um, but just to show you that, I'm going to have to push him back a bit. Uh, that does uh, go down and you can see the Batman minifigure in there, but he is pushed back quite a bit. So yeah, that is the Batmobile. I really, really like this set. The build was pretty fun. Uh, it's not the most like elaborate car build you've ever seen. The build is quite nice. And I think the detailing is very nice as well. But compared to other Batmobiles, um, 1966 from this year, the uh, Tumblr, of course, it's probably not the most abstract design of a Batmobile, it's for sure. If you were just looking at it, you'd probably think it's just a normal car. Of course, it has blue flames coming out of it, but like compared to other Batmobiles, you have nothing really telling you that this is a Batmobile, which I don't necessarily mind. I think it's a pretty cool set, and I think it recreated the car, at least from what I've seen from the trailers, pretty well. So here are the two minifigures of this set. You have the Batman, and then you also have the Penguin, which I believe uh, from the trailers, I don't, I'm pretty sure he's not considered the Penguin at this moment. Probably by the end of the film, he'll become the Penguin. But I don't believe at the moment he is, at least from what we've seen in the trailers. Um, so the uh, Penguin minifigure is a pretty nice one. It, uh, I believe has a uh, all new torso and leg prints, which is really nice, and a new face print. So uh, this minifigure has the uh, suit print there uh, going on to the legs, which I think the detailing here is really nice. I'm really happy that instead of just using plain black legs, they added some detailing, which all the lines match up with the different uh, the vest underneath the suit uh, coat there uh, with the lines on the legs, which is quite nice. The detailing of the jacket also seems quite nice. There's a bit of detailing on the back, just adding some wrinkles and a bit more detailing from the jacket. Uh, the uh, face print is uh, a nice one. I think uh, it seems pretty good from the uh, trailers. Um, the hair pieces also seems pretty good. You have a more angry one there. I feel like that's kind of the one uh, to me when that would maybe be his reaction, like this is the reaction when he's thinking that Batman's dead after, uh, he's caught in the flames, and then, uh, this would be his reaction when he sees him coming out, and he flies in with the Batmobile, and it looks really cool, I love that last shot from the trailer. Uh, so he has a gun there, which I think is a pretty nice one, probably one of my favorite gun pieces that LEGO's made. But then a newer gun piece, which is for a rocket launcher, and this is a new sort of stud shooter. Which, so instead, it's a whole new uh, piece. The stud shooter goes in on the side, and uh, to add a bit more detailing and length to this weapon, you have the newer Monkey Kid uh, staff piece that's also uh, kind of... Uh, been tried to use for uh, quite a few Darth Maul lightsaber pieces, not officially, of course. Um, but there's also these pieces, two of them, at the end that add even a bit more length as well. So I think this is a pretty nice rocket launcher using this new stud shooter, so just to show you, just like the old stud shooter, it just flicks out and then is very easy to load back in. 
but it seems like a pretty nice piece. Um, I don't know for the Hoth Trooper, uh, Snow Trooper Battle Pack, uh, in January if it's going to be using this. I know there was rumor that it wouldn't have stud shooters, but I'm thinking maybe now it doesn't have the old stud shooters, but maybe does it have these stud shooters? Uh, just to show you it without this piece, this is what the uh, new piece does look like, which seems, it seems like a pretty, uh, good one, um, I've never had an issue with stud shooters, I think it adds some good play value to the set, especially when you can have just the penguin firing, uh, his stud there at the Batmobile, I think it does add some good play, but I also like to get a gun like this one into the set. So the next minifigure, I would say probably the big one, you do get it in all three sets of the Batman wave, and that is the Batman minifigure himself. So uh, this minifigure is a gray and black design, which really fits with the Batmobile. And uh, torso, light print, uh, cape, amazing. I think this minifigure is really good, probably one of my favorites in my collection. Sure, uh, dual molded legs would have been nice with the printing there, but for me, I, I thought I wouldn't like it that much because it didn't have the dual molded legs. But having this, I really, really like this. And uh, it looks quite nice. Uh, the only issue I have with this minifigure is that the cowl, I just, I think the shorter one that doesn't have this bit at the end would have been a lot better. Um, of course, then you probably want to change that up where he has a bit of black underneath his chin that connects with it without it uh, being this piece right here. Uh, but even with it, I still do like it. Um, the four plus cape there uh, is just a one piece, doesn't have the two holes. So it does kind of uh, go out a bit instead of just staying in like that. But if you squish down a bit, you can for sure get it to uh, stay down quite a bit. There is some detailing on the back uh, which I think just has a grappler gun there and a bit of the belt and some quite a bit of detailing actually. And at the top of it, you can see where the beginnings of the cape would be and you can see that same on the figure, which I think is a really nice detail and I really, really love this minifigure. And the, uh, I guess, uh, I'm guessing uh, just from the trailers and the suit, how it looks, I'm guessing that's gonna be a battering or some sort of weapon that can detach out of the suit that would be my guess from what it seems but like i've shown uh before with this set this has one more head which i absolutely love that they added and you have the bruce wayne uh, head here uh, which i believe is the same face print and hair piece that was used for tom riddle uh, from Harry Potter, I believe, um, same one as Chamber of Secrets, and I believe, I'm pretty sure the same one from the book, um, but yeah, I really love this, uh, face print, uh, there's something about it that I've been keeping this print instead of the cowl and the other face print, you have an angry one there, and then you have, uh, just a more neutral face print right there. So yeah, I think these minifigures are really, really quite nice. Um, the Batman, I think, is a really good one. I love the torso and leg prints. I love that you get the extra headpiece. And the only thing I would change about it is that cowl. I think the shorter one would for sure work better with this version of Batman. One thing I did not show with the cowl is the other expression, which is just a smiling expression there. So yeah, that was the minifigures, and that was the set. So now I'm just going to my final thoughts on this set. So yeah, that was the Batmobile, the Penguin Chase. Now, I don't know if this is necessarily a chase, as poor Penguin uh, is only running on his uh, legs, and you got Batmobile in this huge car running after him. Uh, so, of course, that's something you have in LEGO titles in the sets. That is, a uh, it's kind of funny. You see that in a ton of sets, but... I'm not taking that to heart, and it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, of course, I'm, I think it would be way too much to have both cars in this set. It would be uh, probably double the price, and you just get another random car that no one's really going to care about that's going to add a tiny bit more play value to the set. Um, but yeah, the build of this set is really good. This set uh, costs $40 Canadian, which I think for this set is really good. Uh, the normal Speed Champion sets are around this size. Of course, this one is longer and maybe a tiny bit wider with these like hip bits right here. 
ex uh, expanding a bit. Those are $25. You do get one minifigure, and the minifigure doesn't matter. Really, it doesn't matter. Now, of course, you're getting... It's a licensed set. Uh, actually, those ones are, but, like, you're getting a main character being the Batman here, uh, and you're getting the Batmobile. Uh, so, uh, and it is a bigger set. So I think this set is really good. I'm really happy that I purchased this set. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.